Guys, this is Victor over at BackingTracksCustom.com. I had a client ask me to make a tutorial for him on how to uh, get songs that you have in your set. So, say if you have, I'm just going to make a make this look like uh, you have a lot more songs. But say you have a set, you know, with a bunch of songs in it, and and you want to, um, you know, basically get just the songs, so you don't have to send the whole Ableton session over to your your band for uh, practice, you can basically just, you know, send them this. So they can practice the set on their own. And so basically you just want to make a, a, a WAV file for them to practice and maybe convert that to an MP3. So it's really easy, but what I would do is I wouldn't... Um, what I'm about to do with showing with the inputs and the outputs so you can actually export these I wouldn't uh, do it to your main set what I would do is I would go up and I would go to save as you don't need to collect all and save just save it in the same folder just click save as and right in the same folder I would just put you know make a practice so let's call this uh, practice so that's my practice template so basically I have the exact same set but this one's called practice. And I click save. And now when I actually do what I'm about to do, you don't got to do this every time. You just basically open up your practice set, you know, and uh, and do that. And and if you're if you get more songs in your set, let me just go back here and show you this. So say you get more songs in your set. Let me open up the original set. As you can see, this one's called Rob Ableton Three Songs. And say maybe buy more songs for us, and we get like three more songs. Um, you can just basically go over here and click on the first um, song in the set, go up and hit shift and click on the last one, and then double click or right click and just go to copy and then open up your practice set. My Rob practice, open that up. and scroll down to the bottom right down here at this zero and hit um, I just do command V but you can also right click and hit paste but uh, on a Mac you just hit command V and it'll paste them in there so now you just paste those songs back in there alright so that's how you get the songs from your master set over to your practice set so you can get them out to your band members so now that's all you gotta do you gotta go over here to your click and your cue and you gotta change those sends because right now they're going to sends only which basically is sending these over here to the click monitor track and you want them to go out to the master uh, one and right and left one and two so these are all set to master already these are your music tracks so all you can do is go over here to your click and your cue and you're going to pull that down and make this master pull that down and make this master now when I export them they're going to go right to uh, the wave file. Right now, if you export these, if you didn't click those to send, if you export these, you wouldn't get the click and the cue because they're coming out this uh, click monitor right here. But when you do that, <clears throat> they're going to be a lot hotter, and you have to mix them into your set so it does, they're not so loud. So you, what you do is just click. See how much louder the click and the cue is. Intro two three. Bring four. those down. And since. And since this is your practice set, you can go ahead and move these faders because this is your practice set. So after you do this, you want to make sure it's the same way each time you run songs off. So let's go ahead and play that song again. Get our click and cue mixed in where we want it. Alright, so there we go. Now what you're going to want to do is because the, when I send you the sets over, I keep the level really low um, so you can have a lot of headroom. So you might want to just go ahead and boost up your um, Intro, two, master three, volume. Four. And I would just take it, if you get if you keep uh, my volumes the same way I send them to you, then just boost that all the way up because you want this to hit pretty close to zero. You know, if it's under zero, you're fine. Just hit pretty close to zero. Now, yeah, you're fine. Now you have the click, the cue, and all the music Intro, tracks. Two, three, four. And then all you do is basically click on the song you want to export. 
That way it tells Ableton that's the song you want to export. And then you just go to File and Export. And then uh, you want Wave you know, 44 1 16 bit and click Export. And we'll just uh, put this right here. I'll just, I don't know what that song is called. We'll just call it Song 1. Song 1. Export that song. Let's see if it gets done to export, it'll be in there. All right, and there's song one. So now if I click on song one. Intro, two, three, four. There you go, there's your song. Now if you want to convert that to an MP3, um, if you just download Audacity, just Google. Um, Audacity, A U D A C I T Y, and oh, it's not gonna. Let me close this down. Sorry about that. Let me open Audacity again. Where is Audacity? Oh, I'm sorry about that. I'm not gonna edit this video neither, so it's gonna be long. Open Audacity. Uh, that's and you Google it, it's free free software. Um, and then let's go over here, drag this song into Audacity, and then just go to up here and just go to export audio. You go to export audio, just if this doesn't have MP3, you'd select it down, find the MP3 in there, then if you click options, just take this so if when you first get Audacity, it might be at like 20 uh, 128. Pull that down and make that 320. Click OK. I'm going to export in the same folder. Still called Song 1, except for now it's MP3. And then I'll, you don't need to fill all that out. Export it to MP3. And we're waiting. We're waiting. Almost. Boom. Now if I go this back up here, you have song two is an MP3. So I'm gonna click on that. Here we go. Intro two, three, four. Alright, so you did your first song, your second song, you just do it the exact same way. You just gotta make sure you click on it first, click play, so that way Ableton knows that's the song you want to export. Intro, two, three, four. So, and, and if you want, you can just actually just right click here, click rename, and hit Command C, which copies that text, and then just click on it again and make sure it plays. And then just go to File. After that, after you clicked on it, make sure that Ableton knows that's the song you're playing. Click the File, Export Audio Video, Export, right click paste there's the name of the song whoops <laughs> didn't copy it anyhow good enough but you understand the point click export now it's exporting our second song Intro, two, four. There you go. And that's how you export songs for your band. So remember, 
make it another whole set. Just save your save your set as. Just go to File, Save As, and then make that whatever that set name is. Just put Practice there, and then anytime you get new songs from us, or if you put, do your other ones, do them in your master set. Copy from there, paste them in here, and then export them. Easy enough. All right. Hope that helps.